Hey, what's up guys? So you bought a new graphic tablet or graphic monitor and it's not working properly or not working at all. In this video, we are going to figure out what exactly went wrong. The first reason is Tillis. We are using the graphic tablet Quadlo A610S and the stylus here doesn't need to be charged however in the previous version A610 you still had to do that and basically you might not have your stylus charged the second reason is the cord you are supposed to use the original cord when connecting the graphic tablet or the monitor to your laptop or your computer it should be found without any driver installation. So we have connected our graphic tablet to the laptop. However, we can use it as a mouse now. Uh, we cannot change the thickness of the lines we draw, as you can see. To do that, we have to download and install the drivers. So we go to the official website of Parblo, which is parblo.com. We go to support. Download drivers, you choose the version of the product you're using, ours is A610S. You run it as administrator and it's also important to turn off any antivirus program. And so simply install the drivers. I have already done it, but I'll do it once again, just to all. It is also quite important to remind to uninstall other graphic monitor or tablet drivers, no matter if they are barlows or not. Alright, so you click OK and it reboots your system. Once you do that, uh, you can go to the graphic tablet settings. Here we can change a lot of things like the buttons. I prefer one of them to be the right click and the other one is for left double click. You can also change the click time. I like to be faster a bit. And here is actually why we are here. So we can actually adjust the pressure sensitivity now. Yeah, I like it to be a bit heavier. All right, next one is the drawing area, but I don't really find important to adjust it. And adjusting the short keys. Let me show you how to do that. Let's make it control out that, which is undo. And that's pretty much it. Let's check the PS now. And yeah, it's working. If it's not, then check this button. It should be enabled because this is the button responding for the pressure sensitivity in PS and that's pretty much it. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below which kind of issues did you face when connecting your graphic tablet or monitor to a computer and see you next time.